Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing The House Abandon. This is a free indie horror game available on Itch.io. It was developed by No Code, which is headed up by a developer from Alien Isolation, uh, John McKellen. So, I've heard good things about this. It was released while I was at PAX, so I'm a little bit late, but here we go. <laughs> okay. I have friends, apparently. Thank you. No one's ever told me that before. All right. I'm in. I'll buy into it. Sure. So this is supposed to replicate the text adventure of the 80s, as you may be able to tell by the music. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Okay, check, uh, check glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Uh, read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. You are sitting in the car, parked in the driveway. You have taken a note and key from the glove box. Okay, uh, let's see. Look around car. It's a nice clean car. Not much to see, but there is a glove box. All right, cool. Uh, get out of car. You get out of the car and stretch your legs. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the back of the house. Walk around the back of the house. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> this is a, uh, a weakness of the text adventure. I have played several of myself, by the way. One of which I actually want to play on the channel sometime soon, I think. Any of you that are familiar with the Laura Bow games, get excited. Alright, uh... Walk around house. Okay, walk... Walk behind house. Go behind house. Um, walk forward. We'll try that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Go to the back of the house. Maybe we have to say backyard. Go to backyard. Walk to backyard. Go to yard. That's why I was trying to say when I said backyard. You walk through to the yard. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Uh, look around yard. You don't understand. Look at yard. <laughs> you see a generator on the back wall of the house. Go to generator. You are next to the generator. Use generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Hmm. Look at windows. Ah, uh, look at house. It's an old house, but it's in good shape. Go to house. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, open front door. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Okay, uh, flip switch. Ah, there we go. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Uh, go to... Let's go to kitchen first. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There's a door to a utility room. I almost said vitality room. That would have been dumb. But otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Look at... Look at kitchen. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Look at drawers. Look at fridge! Ah, uh, look at table! There's nothing in this kitchen. Go to living room. Okay, go to- go to hallway. 
bored, you go back to the hallway. I didn't say I was bored. There's just nothing in the kitchen. Don't make assumptions about my attention span. You go to the living room, a spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look at living room. There's nothing here of interest. Well, fine. Go, go to hallway then. Oh, I wasn't bored that time. Interesting. Okay. Go upstairs. You make your way upstairs. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Look at pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. Okay, uh, go to bathroom. Let's go there first. You are in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Perfect. Look in toilet. Oh. <laughs> Look at sink. Look at tub. There's nothing to do in here. Look in medicine cabinet. Nope. Okay, go to the hallway. <laughs> There's nothing for us here. Okay, go, go to, go to sister's room. You go into your sister's bedroom. You enter what used to be Jennifer's room. It's empty now and has been for years. It's remarkably dust free considering. Look at room. It's completely empty, completely empty. Look, is, is there a closet? Fine. Go, go back to the hallway. Okay, um, look in my room. Go to my room. You enter your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Look at box. A large gift wrap present. The tag says your name. What's my name? Look at tag. Wow. Oh. Okay, open box. You open the present excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futura 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Plug in computer. You untangle the cables and set up the computer. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Open game. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer. That's right, they used to do that. And press play. Are you serious? What? Okay, I... I did not expect that. Get out? It says get out. You... What? You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. That is cool, man. Like, I knew something was gonna happen, obviously, when you play the game, inside the game, but... I didn't imagine it taking place outside the screen. There is a note and a key, both of which you take. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out. You are set slumped in the car. You have a note clutched in one hand and a key in the other. You need to get out, but you don't really want to. Leave car. You reluctantly exit the car. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Look at house. The lights are off. Windows are broken. There's the front door and a yard. Go to yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown, the weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around yard. There's an old generator next to you. Use generator. What? There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. That is cool. That's really cool. Okay, um... Go to front door. 
You go back to the front of the house. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Um, go inside. Open front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note? It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Is there a, is there a switch? You switched the light on, but wish you hadn't. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are... Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Go upstairs. Make it stop. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Make it stop. Turn off alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped you, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Go to kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room has a red X painted on it. Go to utility room. The door is locked. Something tells you that's a good thing. Okay. Go to living room. Go to the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Okay. Go upstairs. I gotta wait for it to finish. So, um... I didn't mention this at the beginning, but this was created in three days for a game jam. So. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room. A phone starts to ring. Uh, answer phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spell out the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do, whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up phone. Relief. Someone is behind the door. The doors are all boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. The pictures look different from before. The note trembles. The guilt is overwhelming. Go, uh, go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Fuck. The note is now clean again, simply reading, get in, get out, you have to go through with it. Is the four digit code 9999? Use, uh, go to, okay, so let's see, let's try it. Sorry, I don't understand, okay, so it's not it. You grab the lock, the lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. You need a working four digit code. You know it's in this house somewhere. Fuck. Look around. The number 1986 is written across the wall. What looks like blood. Okay. Can we just, can we just skip now? We gotta go to a hallway, then go upstairs. It's too bad that the uh, hallway has the longest description. Okay, so we have we have the code now. Uh, 
I like how 1986 actually appears. Okay. The lock clicks open. Someone is behind the door. Open door to my room. Fucking open door! You open the bedroom door? Look around. The landing is barren, worn. Photos adorn the wall, all misaligned. Oh, look at photos. Look. Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Go into room. Go, go to room. You enter the bedroom. It feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Turn off computer. Don't change the subject. You know what you have to do. End it. You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all my fault. Oh, please stop. It was all my fault. Say it. That's... I said it. Finally. Woo! That was cool. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. I I had a fun time. God, see, this is just, this is why, this is why the bad horror games are just so infuriating. It's because you clearly don't need much manpower or much of a budget to make a good horror game. And it, this was made in three days, no less. I expo expect more no-code short stories soon. Well, uh, color me interested. I will play future no-code products after this. Products slash projects, whatever, free, paid. I'll do it. I'm interested. That was fun. I liked that. Especially for a game jam game. Shit. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And uh, if you want to play it yourself, the link is in the description, as always. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Think critically.